Today we are going to look at uh, one of the very beautiful fawn called uh, Diplasium esculentum. There is one more uh, Diplasium that looks uh, quite similar to this. It is called uh, Diplasium uh, maximum. So that difference I can't make out. It is a uh, bit technical. Some small variation is there. And uh, this one, uh, this natural location where I am uh, doing the video, it's next to a beautiful stream. You can hear it. Oh, there, that's the water. So it's a moist uh, stream side, and and then uh, there is a little bit of a bend downwards towards the stream and the slope of this uh, this stream side is covered by this one and uh, on the other side there is a path that goes on to somebody's house and all and this is the valley bottom next to that uh, stream number two I covered this place quite a few times so now let's have a look at the plant it is uh, one of the uh, noticeable thing is that it has this kind of a uh, these side fronds are very long that whole shape has kind of a branching kind of look uh, whereas also another fern next to it this is another variety but it doesn't ha it, it looks dis different from that this Diplasium in uh, Diplasium this, this side uh, fronds are very there's one large front and then from that this long, longish side fronds are emerging and then those side fronts have these uh, leaves then uh, apart from that we can look at the tender uh, tender uh, shoot it's extremely beautiful this tender shoot also and uh, I'll do a little close up to that That's how it looks. It's very nice. Then uh, we look at its base. It's not having that much of rhizome. When I, I if I, no, it does have. So it has quite a solid. Uh, uh, I think that that's how it spreads sideways. Almost. Uh, so it's easy to transplant also because the whole thing can be lifted out. Probably has more side roots than uh, vertical downward roots. So that is another thing about this one. Then uh, somewhat intermediate stage, uh, the, these, uh, these are looking like this. So that's how it looks. You can see it goes downwards like that. So I tried, taken one sample to see if it uh, survives transplanting. If it does, uh, that makes uh, things easier. And uh, if it does well in pots, I, I feel it has great potential as a garden plant. Because uh, this uh, Diplasium group, quite a few of them are uh, edible. And uh, this Esculent Diplasium Esculentum as well as Diplasium Maximum are... Uh, they are used by... Uh, in many parts of the world as a food item. As well as... Uh, as a herb, medicine. So food that has been then the, that has been tested by scientists and all they have examined the species uh, for its nutritious content and uh, they found it has lot of fiber and some crude protein and all also is there. Then uh, it has been also analyzed uh, 
seriously for uh, herbal properties and uh, they have scientists have concluded after studying the compounds that are there in these uh, this diplasium esculentum that uh, it is good for uh, it has chemical substances which are uh, uh, anti ah which are uh, antioxidants anti inflammatory antimicrobial anti diabetic and immu improved immune uh, alterant that is it improves the immunity so those are the diseases for which it, they get they can use those chemicals in it in this particular uh, diplasium then uh, in traditional medicine it is used for diabetes wounds healing rheumatism diarrhea asthma and all and uh, though i have never eaten it this uh, this type of tender prawns are what they cook and eat in nepal and then uh, some parts of assam then also this one is uh, very widespread it occupies a territory that is uh, from uh, india burma bangladesh himalayan parts of india then uh, japan china singapore bangladesh papua new guinea Mal all that the whole area from india all the way up to japan it can be found this diplasium uh, esculentum and uh, the other ones also there a few more but they all broadly share these type of features then i'll now try to go down stream and have a look at it from there let that is if it's not too slippery or not okay few minutes more हाँ so that is a diplasium i just read the video of sitting on the other side then uh, here also one one clump is there though it doesn't look that uh, happy maybe there's too much shade or something uh, then there's one more clump here so this whole thing comes off if one tugs it so it's not deep rooted it's shallow and widespread rooting with a kind of a rhizome i think underneath that's the same one totally in this small patch there are about uh, three species are there the other two name and all is too complicated so that's a little bit about this diplasium uh, esculentum and uh, diplasium maximum both are similar to ferns uh, 